PSA Collector. What's going on guys? It's Matt with PSACollector.com back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to go over the cards that I'm buying, collecting, and investing in today. Now, a lot of you have probably seen that video I just uploaded on the Are We In A Modern Day Junk Wax Era? I want to thank everybody who watched it, all the likes, and all the comments I got, okay? I learned a ton of information from you guys commenting. One of the biggest things I took from that video is how I failed to include all the new uh, markets that are collecting and investing in sports cards now okay so we have Korea we have Japan we have China we have Germany Australia and Canada it's not just the US anymore the market is growing the hobby is growing and when you put it in that perspective instead of just the US population collecting these cards the the entire world is collecting these cards 15,000 PSA 10s is small it's a very small amount okay however that doesn't mean those are the cards that we should be buying and investing in right and in this video I'm going to show you guys which cards I'm spending my money on so without any further ado let's go ahead and jump into this video all right guys so starting off I'm just gonna do the Garrett Cole all right so as we all know Garrett Cole is the new pitcher for the Yankees all right so I picked up this 2011 Bowman Platinum rookie patch auto it's a sticker auto yes but look at that guys it's serial numbered out of just 740 all right it's the 2010 so it's an earlier year it's a Bowman Platinum. I paid, I think, f around $45 for this. Not a bad pickup, not a bad pickup. If Garrett Cole performs like he's supposed to and they win a World Series this year, can, I mean, what's the price gonna be on this on these cards, okay? That's that's my theory. I pick them up dirt cheap. I paid 120 for this, Bowman Inception, 2013. It's RPA, it's a sticker auto, yes, but it's serial numbered out of just 35, guys. And it's already graded, it's already slapped. It's BGS, but the price on it, in my opinion, was really good. This Bowman Inception product, I feel like, is going to get more and more popular. It's just an awesome design, awesome uh, artwork, and it's a nice two-color patch. Next up is the 2013 Bowman Platinum Garrett Cole. I paid $20 for this. PSA 9. Already graded. Serial number out of just 125. Here's another one. Uh, 2010 Bowman Chrome. Serial number out of 777, guys. Only 777 of these cards are in existence. This one, I won at auction for like $22. Very, very, very good pickup. And then here's the 2012, or 13. The base Bowman is it's a non-chrome, but it's serial numbered out of 500. So only 500 ex copies exist, and I got three of them, okay? And it has a nice, that Topps rookie logo on the top right. You gotta love those. That way, you know it's a rookie card. Here's the uh, orange. I think it's orange, yep, out of 250. Now this one's probably gonna be a mint nine because there's whitening going up on the top, but I paid like $13 for this. Here's a 2010 Bowman Platinum Thick Stock, 999 in existence. As you can see, there's a trend here, serial numbered cards. There's another one, 999, this is the thin stock. So a thousand in existence. I got two of those. Here's the, uh, the purple parallels, 2010. Got a couple of these. So I got a bunch of the Garrett Coles. These are not numbered, but they are parallels. So, I mean, I got them for really good prices. <laughs> I couldn't pass it up. Like I said, the, the, if the Yankees take off, if they become the new Death Star like they're supposed to in 2020, those cards are gonna go up in value, easy, easy money. This one, serial number out of 400, 500, okay, 499. Got two of those, the green parallels, nice. And then I picked up a bunch of the base, bunch of the base, base cards, dirt cheap, like a buck fifty, two dollars a piece. Can't go wrong with that. All right, so that's the Garrett Cole. I'm, I'm picking up Garrett Cole uh, while they're cheap. Next up, let's do the Acuna. So here's the Acuna cards I've got. I paid 20, shoot, buy it now at 25 bucks. 2017, his first year on a Bowman, Bowman uh, Bowman's best card. It's a refractor, not serial number, but the population report was pretty low. I went ahead and just $25 guys, it's already graded Gem Mint 10, it's a refractor. I went ahead and pulled the trigger and said, yeah, I'll pick it up. Next up guys, so this is the Panini Chronicles, all right? This is a newer product within the Panini line. It started in 2017. The Prism is one of the inserts found in the, uh, the product. Now look at this guys, serial number out of 299. So there's only 299 of these in existence, okay? Buy the serial numbered cards. Plus look at the design of this card. I think this is called a Hyper, I'm not sure, I can't remember. But it's a Prism, it's black. I think the card looks awesome. And I got a mint, uh, SGC Mint 9. I think I paid $20 for this. Buy it now. Serial number out of 299. Only 299 in existence. I can't trust that enough. Here's another great pickup, I think, from the Panini Chronicles. This is the pink parallel. Serial numbered out of 25. Very nice. 
All right, it's a mint nine. Yes, for only under $25 out the door, including shipping. Guys, this is a great pickup. Look, it has a rookie card logo on the bottom right. Acuna Jr. rookie card, $25 can't beat that i mean people pay three times the amount for the 2018 tops update and there's already 15,000 in existence so why would you i mean this card is so much more rare i mean it's not even it's not even close all right those are the modern day baseball let's do some uh old school stuff all right now you guys seen the Derek jeter rookie card video i just did these are the Derek jeter cards i, I picked up all right look at this 1996 select certified that's his rookie card. See, it says rookie right there. It's a mint nine, but these are pretty tough to find in gemmy condition. Super low population reports, guys. Super low. Here's a 1995 select certified. Near mint to mint eight. I think I paid maybe $13 for this. You can see it has the rookie, rookie stamp on it. Very nice. Here's a 1996 Leaf Jeter rookie. Has a rookie stamp on it. Or the rookie uh, label on it. Very nice. 1996 finest sterling uh this is uncommon doesn't have the uh the coating on it but still i, I got a really good deal on this couldn't pass it up near mint to mint eight 1996 finest it has the coating with coating mint nine very low population report on these guys if you want to get the 1996 finest jeter rookies buy them with the coating on it all right i think that they're more valuable with the coating on it especially in mint nines and gem mint condition grades so i got a bunch of these i even got some eights and a seven onto the 1995 bowman gold Derek jeter rookie card foil this is the gold parallel super good price on this i think 15 dollars i wanted at auction it's a gold foil very uh relatively rare <laughs> considering it has a super low population report and it's a foil there's the Topps Chrome, first year, 1996 Topps Chrome. Uh, Derek Jeter rookie card, near mint to mint eight, very nice. I can see this rising in value. Population report, very low. Here's a mint nine, I definitely overpaid on this. I think I paid like $60. But uh, I think I'll get my money back in my, maybe two years time. It's the Topps Chrome, guys, very tough to find in mint condition. Here are the raw ungraded cards, Jeter cards. So th that doesn't have the coating on it but I'm still gonna submit it. I think I removed the coating, honestly, because the coating had um, some wear and tear on it. And if you send the card in with the coating, PSA will grade the coating. So if it's the, the coating is bad, peel it off. Because a PSA 10 gem mint condition card without the coating is worth more than the PSA 9 card with the coating, all right, if that makes sense. So if the coating looks bad, if you didn't pull the card out of the pack yourself, I would go ahead and say remove the coating. But if you're buying cards already graded, buy them with the coating, all right? So I got a bunch of these. Uh, I got a Topps Chrome Derek Jeter. Got the 1995 Topps Finest Derek Jeter. Two of those. Some Select Certified. Let me pick this up. Some 1995 Select Certified. A ton of those. 1996 Score Rookie. Dugout uh, Collection. So this is a parallel. And then the 1996 Tops base Tops cards, very low population report so far. 1995 Tops base Tops cards, and then the 1990 Tops Tiffany. 1991 Tops Tiffany, Barry Bonds. This isn't the base regular issues Tops guys. This is Tops Tiffany. How do we know? Look at the back. The back is white. All right, white cardstock. The fronts have a glossy surface. Okay. Topps Tiffany was a junk wax era set, but it's much more rarer than regular issue tops. So the 1991, I believe, is the most rare uh, Topps Tiffany set of all time. It is said that only 5,000 sets were printed, okay? So I've been picking up the 1990 Topps Tiffany cards left and right, especially the Barry Bonds. Here's a 1990 OPG Frank Thomas rookie card, okay? there's an o You can tell it's OPG because it says OPG back here. The card stock is a little bit more vibrant than the regular issue tops and there's french uh description on the back for the canadian market all right 1990 opg frank thomas rookie cards guys mark my words they're going to be going up in value all right because they're so rare there's only like 117 psa 10s in existence so far very rare opg so i'm picking those up all right guys moving right along moving right along let's go ahead and get the basketball everybody's buying luka Doncic panini prism with the population report being so dang high so what am I doing? I'm buying the Select. Now, if you guys don't know, Panini Select 
was a hobby product only. Great sign off the bat, all right? No, I'm not going out and buying the Panini Select Hobby Boxes. I'm buying the cards on eBay. These I paid $30 a piece on these on average, all right? $30 a piece. And if you don't know, Panini Select has three tiers of rookie cards, okay? So here's the tier one, which is the most common, Luka Doncic. And you can see right here, it's concourse, all right? So cards one through 99 are the concourse. And then the cards uh, 100 through 199 are the premier level, which are more rare than the concourse. And then the court side, which are numbered uh, 200 through 299, I believe. That's the court side cards. There are the short print rookie cards. And you can see this Trey Young I picked up. It's a mint nine, but I only paid like 40 bucks for it. It's a court side, guys. Look at the population reports on the court side rookie cards. So, so, so rare. All right. And the premier levels, too. The premier levels were inserted. There's 10 premier levels per box and only two court side per box. Okay. So these premier level Luka Doncic rookie cards, in my opinion, are going to go up in value uh, simply because they were not printed as heavily as prism cards. Okay. So I got a bunch of these Luka Doncic. I think I got 11. I got a bunch more in the mail. And then there's a concourse. I picked up one of those. I got a bunch more of those coming. Uh, the Giannis 2013 select. Guys, the 2013 product was not printed as heavily as it, as it is today. Uh, much more rare. These are hard to come by. I picked this up, buy it now for $90. I'll make that Giannis video. I went on eBay, was doing some, doing a little research, saw it, boom, picked it up. Great, great card. I got this from Germany. A dude from Germany sent this. Very well packaged. And I got this, honestly, quicker than a lot of guys from the US send stuff. It blew me away. I'm like, dang, Germany, you guys know how to do it. Next up, we got the status, 2018 status. Okay, here's the red parallel. The Luka Doncic slam dunking is the target variation. And then him doing a layup is the Walmart variation. I honestly think the target variation is gonna catch more of a uh, premium price simply because the photo is better, okay? And so there's the red parallel, there's the purple, purple, there's an aqua. Aqua, base, base, and base, okay? So I'm not really sure how the status is, is gonna pan out. Um, it's a retail product, but it's, uh, so far, the population reports and the eBay listings are not heavily populated, okay? So I think status for the price, guys, a good deal, a good deal for the Luca rookie cards so far. So, I mean, it's the market's still young. I went ahead and picked up a couple because I saw the gym mint condition copy selling for over $100. And these ungraded were selling for like 20, 20, 25, 30. Some big profit to be made on these if, I, if they come back gentleman condition grades, okay? Let's see what else we got. All right, we got the Trey Young. We got a 2018 Panini Spectra Trey Young Rising Stars sticker autograph, but it's serial numbered out of just 60. I saw this, I paid 120 for this, you guys. I, I, I saw the, the centering was good, and how we can tell was the edge of the card, the edge of that banner edge of the card if that's even that's good centering on the left and right and then the top top of that spectra to the top of the card and then the bottom of that border to the bottom of that uh, Atlanta Hawks border the top and bottom are off a little bit but the back looks good the centering okay so I said yeah I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger pay 120 on this it comes back a gym in 10 I don't know sell for 250 to 300 maybe not this year, obviously, but maybe the next next year or the year after. We'll see how Trey pans out. But so far, his cards are gaining more and more popularity, more and more momentum, all right? Here's some Luca Premier Level. Gem Mint 10s I picked up. Under $100 a piece. Got two of those. I uh, got the Panini Select Concourse Luca Mint 9s. I picked up one for $30 and one for like $45. I'm going to end this video off with some old school junk wax air. Look at this. 1991 Topps Tiffany Barry Bonds. Look at that old school PSA label. This this is card number 2,536,831. Got to love these old school PSA labels, guys. Here's a new one. So here's the new uh, the new label right here with the barcode and the uh, new PSA uh, lighthouse. Here's the old school. Look at that collector's universe hologram sticker. Now, are these more going to be more valuable in the future? I don't know. I like collecting them because they're uh, the different label. It's an old school label. It's vintage, a vintage label. However, I just, I'm buying the card and I think it's cool to have the vintage label on there. So tops, Tiffany guys, not regular issue tops. You can see there's a glossy coating on it, maybe, but the back you can see is definitely white. Here's an OPG. 
Chipper Jones, very, very, very low population report on the 1991 OPG Chipper Jones rookie card compared to his top Tiffany and his regular issue tops. So I think I picked this up for $26. Buy it now. I think this card is definitely going to be more valuable as the years come on. Okay. Last up is 1990 Bowman Tiffany Barry Bonds. Uh, just base card. Picked it up for a couple bucks. I think seven dollars. And then lastly, actually, I got two Kobe Bryant die cut uh, rookie cards. Collector's Edge. This one is serial numbered out of 3100. This one's not serial numbered, but they're both die cut. This is the gold foil. Just awesome Kobe Bryant rookie cards. I picked these up right after making that Kobe Bryant video. So I got a really good deal on these. The prices weren't sky high. I think I paid maybe $12 for this and like $9 for this. So you guys know. That's a pretty good deal. All right, guys. So those are the cards I've been picking up. Let me know in the comments below which cards are you guys buying and investing in. Do you think the 1990s junk wax era cards are going to be picking up in value and popularity because of the modern day cards having so much value and attention, even though the population reports are incredibly higher than the, the junk wax era cards? Let me know, guys. What do you guys think about the 1990s junk wax era? I think it's going to be picking up in value and popularity, but we'll see. Who knows? I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for liking the video. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you all in the next one, all right?